Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Making friends is an essential part of growing up. When you're younger, you often choose friends for crazy reasons. Children may befriend other children due to something as simple as you guys sharing a favorite color. Like you guys love the color pink or red or blue. And then you start becoming a teenager. And as teenagers, sometimes you simply become friends with somebody based on the music that you like. Maybe you guys are Rihanna Navy. You guys stand Rihanna. Maybe you guys love Beyonce, so you're part of the Beehive. Or maybe you're even a Barb or a part of Barty Gang. But a lot of teenagers tend to pick friends solely based on their favorite musical artist. But one thing that I realize is as you get older, you tend to pick out friends based on more important things, based on traits, based on personality. And you also realize as you get older that not all friends are equal. This is not something that you're born knowing, and this is why we often get our feelings hurt throughout our lifetime when friends don't live up to our expectations. One of the most deadliest friends slash friend groups you can have is the fake friend, and you will run into a fake friend at one point in your life. These are the type of people that your parents have warned you about and the type of people that your parents often have bad feelings about. Welcome to Lovely TTV. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to like the video. So today's story, we're talking about a young woman. Her name is Shanquilla Robinson, and she's from Charlotte, North Carolina. And this whole situation with Shanquilla has not been sitting well with me. A lot of people have been requesting that I talk about this. Um, so what's going on is that Shanquilla and um, a few of her friends decided to go down to Cabo, Mexico for one of their friends' birthday parties. Shanquilla wasn't in Mexico for 24 hours before her parents were notified of her death. So this situation is just really heartbreaking. And when they went to investigate, they're being told by the Mexican authorities that she died from alcohol poisoning. But her autopsy report says otherwise. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip. Happened about two weeks ago. Shinquilla Robinson went to Mexico with her friends. She arrived early on Friday the 28th, and her family says the next morning she was dead. It was supposed to be a fun, long weekend for 25 year old Shinquilla Robinson and her group of friends who went to Cabo to celebrate one of their birthdays. She told me they had a chef, they was getting ready to eat. They was eating tacos, some salad or something they was eating. And, um, I say, well, okay, I love you, have a good night, and I will talk to you tomorrow. And I never talked to my child again, and she never made it back home. Robinson's mom, Salamandra, says within 24 hours of her daughter's arrival, she was dead. Figuring out how or why has only added to the family's nightmare. It started with a frantic call from Robinson's friends. They said she wasn't feeling well, she had alcohol poison. They couldn't get a pulse. Each one of the, the people that was there with her was telling different stories. It's when the family made calls to the FBI and Mexican authorities that they learned of another potential cause of death. And the autopsy came back. They said it didn't have anything to do with alcohol. Say that she had been, um, she had a broken neck and her spine in the back was cracked. She had been beaten. Salamandra says the entire group came back from Mexico, leaving her daughter's body there. Nearly two weeks and $6,000 later, her body is back home, but answers have been hard to come by. You know, I know that's not going to bring my child back, but I want something done about it. Queen City News has spoken with officials at the U.S. State Department in Mexico who refute the claim that Robinson was murdered, saying the police's initial indication is that there was no clear evidence of foul play. Here in Charlotte, her family refuses to believe their daughter's death was an accident and they vowed to find the truth of what happened that night in Cabo. She had a heart of gold. She loved everybody, and, and pretty much everybody loved her. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. Now, what's even more disturbing is that earlier today, a video appeared online 
Um, and I don't know who posted the video or who leaked it, but it's a video of Shanquilla and her so-called friend. Her friend's name is Dejanae Jackson. Dejanae Jackson is in pajamas. Shanquilla, and it took me a while to realize this because when I first watched the video, I was so disgusted, I kind of just turned it off. And then I went back to watch and I'm looking at Shanquilla. Shanquilla is naked. She has uh, no clothing. This woman is trying to defend herself. She's not hitting back on the girl. Um, the friends, the so-called other friends, and I'm going to read all these people's names who were there on this trip. Khalil Cook, Mikhail Dreyer, Winter Donovan, Alyssa Hart, and Nazir Wiggins. They were all there along with, along with Dejanae Jackson and Shaquella. You can hear a man in the background recording and saying Quella fight back. And she's saying she doesn't want to. And Dejanae is still beating her mercilessly. There's another person recording because you can see there's another cell phone camera that comes into the frame. There's another man that comes into the frame with a beard. So all of these are her so-called friends watching her get beat naked. None of them are trying to stop it. None of them are doing anything to come to her aid. So this entire situation is just extremely disturbing. I'm not going to post the fight video. Um, you guys can go look for it on Instagram. I'm not going to post it in this video. But there's a lot to be said about this situation. I've covered cases like this before. And like I always tell people, everyone isn't your friend. All I see when I saw that fight video that came out today is a bunch of jealous people clicking up for superficial reasons under the guise of friendship. No friends would allow their friends to fight in that manner and be okay recording it. In my personal opinion, I believe that all of these people plant that attack on that girl. They didn't like her. They probably wanted her to come just because that's somebody to help cover the room. Again, you know, everybody doing stuff for social media and the gram. But, you know, we got to go deep so that we can afford this entire villa. So they probably wanted her for just monetary reasons, but they probably really didn't like her. She was a popular braider, beautiful girl. It looks like she was always taking trips and doing her. And this girl who's beating on her definitely feels a way because you even hear in the video saying, I'm tired of her shit. Well, if you're tired of somebody's shit, why did y'all invite her to the party? Why did y'all invite her to come to Cabo? So it seems like there were already tensions brewing. Now, the autopsy report says that this girl was found unresponsive and that she had a broken neck and a broken spine and there was no alcohol in her system. I believe that broken neck and spine came from this fucking wildebeest, okay, beating on her. And I call her wildebeest because even though John Quilla was not fighting her back, Shanquilla was barely even trying to defend herself. And this wildebeest kept hitting on her, kept fighting her. She was getting the best of her and she was getting gassed up because she knew Shanquilla was not a fighter and that she didn't want to fight her. So she was trying to prove a point to the rest of the people that she's the top dog, that she's the queen bee, that she's the alpha female in that clique. And these morons sat by there recording this and, and cheering this on. This is sickening. With friends like this, who needs enemies? And that's why I say you have to be very, very careful who you call a friend, especially in this day and age. You got people clicking up, claiming to be friends based on things like followers, based on things like, you know, people's looks, people's bodies, but they're not getting to know people's characters. They're clicking up and calling themselves friends based on superficial nonsense. And when you click up, with friends based on those type of situations, you get situations like what befell Shaquella. This entire situation is really disturbing. But what's even more disturbing is that one of her so-called friends, one of the gentlemen who was there, he claims he came the following day. But he's speaking out about this situation. And I want y'all to watch his video. His energy is totally off to me. He's definitely not giving me friend energy. Villa around 326. I instantly, as soon as I go in, I go to Quilla. Quilla didn't leave my sight, my side, none of that, till um, the nurse came. But that's, I'm going, that's, I got too far ahead. 
So Cole was laying on the couch in the game room. The fucking villa was like a big ass mansion. No upstairs, all tile on the wall, tile on the floor, straight tile, nothing, nothing else. So it was just a big ass villa. And I don't know if y'all can view it on the website. Go to Cabo Villas and look at how big this is and what it looked like. Well, you're going to see. So when I got there, she was in the game room. Um, they told me um, she was not feeling good. So I instantly go to her, um, put on her side, get a bag and all that. So I'm sitting right next to her the whole time. I was cross my heart and hope that I, um, I was there the whole time in the game room. And then they was talking about cooking. So we made it to the living room. Um, I cut on some soft music, sitting with her, rubbing her head, just chilling, waiting till the nurse came. Cause that's what I was informed that was happening. Um, at first I was told that it was a male coming and then a female showed up. So, um, by that time, well, uh oh, I skipped another thing. Quilla wasn't found dead. She wasn't found dead. The maids found her slumped over the toilet in her room. That's what they did find her slumped over her toilet in her room. That's what I was told. Quilla was not dead when I got there. Um, um, yeah, boom. So it's like, okay, so when I get in there, I go in, I see Kula, I see she chilling, I put on her side, I go up and make that video where I'm talking about I'm here, that I Kula get up. I'm thinking like, damn, we got stuff to do, ATVs, a boat, dinner, I miss the chefs, I miss everything. Anyways, fuck that. Um, so I'm like, damn, I'm thinking, Kula, let's get up. I say that in the video, everybody can hear it, everybody know. Everybody that know me heard me say this shit. That was my first video when I got there. Or second, because I made a video of me pulling up to the villa. But he was cutting up the guy. I tried to get the timestamp for y'all, but that's not going to work. So I guess um, the real FBI or whatever had to put those right timelines together. But I'm going to start with the NCB. That faggot is so stupid and got y'all believing everything. Everything that's wrong. I was not there till the next day. I didn't see a fight. I didn't know it was a fight. I didn't know it was a video. I didn't know they did any harm, anything. I went in there and told it was alcohol poisoning. So that's what I helped her as. That's what I helped her as. I didn't leave her side. I cut on soft music. Summer Walker rubbing her head till the nurse came in. Nobody even talked about the nurse. Nobody even said a nurse came. None of this stuff. So I'm really not understanding where this story is coming from and why it's out here like this because it's wrong. It's wrong. And for y'all to be attacking me, an innocent soul, like, it, I'm really innocent as fuck. I went there to enjoy my birthday. Like, to enjoy my birthday and to really just goddamn have fun. I didn't have not one second of fun. And take one shot and smoke one blunt and didn't do anything. I went straight to Quilla. She was not found dead. She was found unresponsive. Yes, unresponsive. She was unresponsive. I tried to get her to talk to me and all that, but it was, it was, it was none of that. It was none of that going on. Um, Oh shit. Um Yeah, but other than that, I did, oh yeah, I know y'all probably asking that I when I walked in there, I didn't um I didn't really notice the the knot on her head until the nurse pointed it out. I did see the, the bump on her lip. Um she had a she did have a, a bug vessel bust in her eye and and that's it, but I didn't really go in there like, damn, y'all jumped her, y'all beat her ass, what's going on? Like, cause they know, man, and nobody even told me about nothing. I was blind to everything. I'm literally in there giving her my all. Like, come on, girl, we is 2,000 miles away from home. 2,000 miles away from home. Don't nobody deserve this. Don't, don't, yeah, 50 more questions. Bro, why is y'all talking about a boy that y'all kill y'all friend? I wasn't there. I don't have those answers for you from Friday to three o'clock when I got to Cabo. I don't, I just don't have them answers. I posted my flight itinerary. I, when I got there, oh, I can't make that up. I can't, I, I really don't know what else to do, but show y'all um, fucking the real tickets if I can even find them when I landed and didn't land. But I could post the video, I could show the video, it's gonna show the timestamps cause it's in my archive. I got there at three something PM. I made my first video at 426. That's me outside by the pool. Da 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 saying, Quilla, get up, let's go. We got stuff to do. Let's go have fun. There was no fun in that. There was no fun in that. There was nothing good coming from that, man. I went in there with my bag, put it down, went to the game room, went to the living room, stayed there. Worst time of my life. 
And now y'all on here trying to say I killed her. Me, the nigga that got there a day late. A day late. The nigga y'all didn't see in the video. I have a million and 30 tattoos. Do I sound like I was in that video? Go listen to it again. Do you hear my voice in that video? Like, come on, bro. Y'all niggas is really stupid. The bitches is stupid. The old ladies, all of y'all are stupid. I don't care who's after me because I have all my time stamps. I've been real close and cordial with everybody who really means something. So everybody else, this was just to give y'all some comfort. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it no more. I'm not responding to nothing else. And all the death threats, I can go with y'all move. Everybody. I turn me to a pack. All of that shit y'all talking. Y'all just talking out to our ass out of hurt because y'all listening to uh, social media. Social media. Of course, my story is going to be different because I got there a day late. I can only tell you what I know from 3.30 till Sunday when I left. That's all I can do. I really can't give nobody no other answer from Friday because they didn't tell me. I didn't go in there, sit down and make no alibi with nobody. I didn't know nothing. They didn't tell me nothing. Cross my heart and hope to die on this, on this Bible right here. I don't know nothing. I didn't sit and make no alibi. I didn't even have time. I got there an hour later. The nurse came in the door. The nurse came in the door. Try to help Quilla. Try to put some salines in her, but she was her energy. She didn't have no electrolytes. Her oxygen was low, so she couldn't find them. Y'all don't understand what I went through. Y'all don't understand. Y'all won't understand. So y'all keep posting my address and all that shit. Y'all have fun. Y'all have fun. Y'all know y'all hurting yourself. Y'all not hurting me. I'm not bothered by this. Because I know the truth. Me and God know the truth. Me getting on this internet. And I cut the comments off because I know y'all being mad. Ear. What's the word? Insensitive. So I, I, I ain't even finna go back and forth. On this shit with nobody. I said I tried to go live with the NC beat nigga. He he swear he know um the time. She been in Mexico and stuff before, so he knows how everything goes. But Instagram and everything keep timestamps. Um everything is in my archive. Um everything else say you're gonna have people watching my page when I go live. That's cool. Um but you're a loser. You're you're really a loser for trying to do this to to me. You don't even know the full story. Um, what else I gotta say? I really think that's it. I'm really not giving y'all too much because that's all I had to say. Like, I wasn't there. I had nothing to do with it. I didn't know about no video. I didn't know about none of that. Like, I didn't know about none of that. And and I wouldn't sit here and lie to nobody. Like, I would, I, like, they already knew. They knew not to tell me because the person that I am was not letting it happen. Everybody was fighting me right there. Every, we all banging it out. Because what is y'all doing 2,000 2, miles away from home, from family, from safety, from rules and regulations you know. Now you in a different state, putting your lives at risk and jeopardy and mine. Now I walked into something stupid. Now I'm looking like a bad guy. I'm just going to leave it right here. I really don't have too much more to say. Y'all either don't believe me or y'all not. Run with what y'all want, screen record it, save it, watch it over, interpret it, see if I was sincere, really genuine. But I really just, I'm tired, I'm fed up, I haven't slept, I, I don't know, I have to look over my shoulder because I don't know who's back there. Like, this shit is stupid. It's really stupid. It's really stupid. <clears throat> and I, 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 I'm not even going to address the tough guys, man. It, it, it's just, it's nothing to talk about. I'm innocent. If you want to make a move off of impulse and how you feeling because of the, the internet, that's cool. Um, what else? But when the truth come out, I really don't want to hear nothing from nobody. Y'all can really go on about y'all day, y'all life. We ain't got to talk, be cool. You felt how you felt because that's the information you was given. I respect it, but I can't respect you. That's because if you knew me, you know that's not me. That's not my art. My art is so pure. I'm not competitional. I would try to end everything before it gets to something like that. Come on, bro. You don't do that 2,000 miles away from your house, bro. You don't do that. You don't do that. I have the most respect for Miss Robinson, um, Quilla, everybody. Like, y'all open, welcome me with open arms. Listen, hear, hear me out. All of that. I didn't feel like anything was a problem. I respect that. And I want you to get justice for your daughter. I want everybody to get just, I want everybody to start hurting. Don't nobody deserve that. Especially not to die 2,000 miles away from your family. It's not fair. All right, y'all just saw the video for so-called guy friends speaking out. 
Um, his story is not making sense to me. I think at this point in time, the police need to get involved, the American police. Everybody needs to be rounded up. They need to get to the bottom of what happened. Now, granted, this murder, this alleged murder took place in Mexico. So the U.S. authorities cannot charge them with murder because it did not happen on U.S. soil. But U.S. authorities needs to put pressure on Mexico to do their damn job. And to not dismiss this as some type of drunken situation when the girl had no alcohol in her system. I'm tired of stories of black women ending up like this and ending up in these situations and nobody cares. I think at this point in time, people in Congress need to get involved in this and they need to put pressure on Mexico to press charges on all parties involved. Not only the girl beating her up, but also these friends who sat there and watched this and were okay with this. If this doesn't wake you up to let you know that you have to really understand what a true friend is, I don't know what will. This entire situation is heartbreaking to watch this video and to watch how this woman was treated by her so-called friends. So, y'all, please go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this situation concerning Shanquilla Robinson. How do you guys feel about this? Do you guys feel like her friends had something to do with her death? Let me know your thoughts. And how do you guys feel about that fight video that ended up online earlier today showing her so-called friend beating up on her? Go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you so much for taking time out to watch. I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.